Fightful Dave here again, uh, coming to you with some exciting stuff here. We're actually, this is going to be our first unboxing video. So we spent $485 on two shelf pull general merchandise lots on liquidation.com. And we're going to go through it item by item. I kind of curated it a little bit. This is all of the items in the two boxes. It came in seven boxes. I was able to get it in two boxes which just tells you how much money they waste on shipping. But everything is here. We're gonna go over every item, kind of one by one. Might skim through some of the smaller, basically throw out pieces here. We got our trusty Instacrates available at Costco. This is what we use for all the time. I've got about seven of them lined up here. I think we'll probably get everything into about three of them. But I think it's time we jump right in and get through each individual box here and hopefully the lighting's okay we're using the overhead we're not fancy we don't have a lot of money here but time to get right into it we've got danger permit required sign which is confined space do not enter by brady i'm going to put this on my front door because it just seems like a good thing to have on your front door there's nothing better than to stop the telemarketers than a danger do not enter sign. So, permit required sign. It's actually pretty cool. It's like plexiglass, whatever. These things actually retail for about 30 bucks, but I really do think I'm gonna use it here, so. Uh, we've got our Bona or, or Bond, if you guys can read the logo there. Maybe it's a little bit bigger on the back side. It's kind of one of those confusing line with logos, um, but I have actually three of these very, very nice, very expensive sprinkler heads here. Um, they actually seem like they're very, very high quality, which is gonna be awesome as well. So I think we got like 30 bucks in each one of these as well. So I mean, if we're doing the math here up to 120, minus selling fees and uh, shipping fees and all that good stuff. But the good news is I can tell you that there's supposed to be $4,500 worth of stuff in these boxes, but if you're familiar with liquidation or you're familiar with really anything, there's never $4,500 worth of stuff in any box. I don't care who you are. Um, but there's there's a lot of really cool stuff in these boxes here as well. So um, we've, we've got whatever this is. To be honest with you, I'm not sure what it is. Um, but I'll zoom in on the camera here so you guys can see it a little bit. Um, still not a clue. It's like a $15 little item here, so not, not a big deal here at all. Uh, let's see here. We've got this little plastic piece, um, which again, not a clue. I know it's worth 30 bucks, so like anything else, it's sold. Now, one thing I will mention about these little seemingly worthless little things is surprisingly, some of them can be worth a pretty penny. You always gotta look up every single item you get because you never know what's worth what. So we've got some sanding sponges. I know there's another one in here somewhere, which it's right here. Some sanding sponges, roughly eight bucks a piece. We might make like three bucks on these if we're lucky per piece, but after shipping and whatnot, but we, we got them listed for eight. They'll definitely sell. One thing, if you guys know me at all, I really love the lots that have a lot of gloves on them. Gloves surprisingly sell. They're a very high, high buck. Um, these ones have an MSRP of 30, which means they're really worth about 15. Um, we got ones of these. I've got lots of these work gloves here. To be honest with you, there's 12 of them. Each one of these goes for 13 bucks a piece. And if you're familiar with the USPS first class shipping, it's gonna cost about three bucks to ship each one of them. So it's about $120 in you know, profit or whatnot right here. So we try to grab these in larger loads. A little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here. And we've got, it's like kid on Christmas here. We've got hardware house towel ring. So again, we come across a lot of stuff like this here. It's roughly about 15 bucks is what we'll sell it for. Only cost a couple of bucks to ship it. So it's another good item. I love my smalls. Do you guys know anything about me? I really do love my smalls. See, my director here is a little bit sick, so if you hear a little bit of sneezing, it's her fault, but I promise you it's not contagious over the screen there, unless you're doing some other stuff in front of your screen there. But, uh, whatnot. We've got smart locks here. 
And I'm gonna open up one of these just so you guys can see that these things are actually kind of cool. There are kind of two packs in particular, we can get it out. Definitely packaged really, really well. But it's kind of like a like a dial suitcase lock. So I don't know if you guys can see that there. There's you know, the little number dialers or whatever. Or two packs, you know. The two packs we're, we're selling for $7.95. So my director wants me to point it back out here. She wasn't ready for me. So but not a big deal. There we go. Are we looking? The disc locks. So if you want them, if you want to find our eBay store, you can look at these locks. They're $7.95 for a two-pack. So don't be like that kid yesterday that uh, that tried to get me to sell him two of them for two dollars. I thought that was a very interesting thing to do. But I got four of them. It's plenty to go around with lowest prices on eBay by far. And all this brand new merchandise. We've got some pumps. Now, I don't know anything about these pumps other than the fact that they're worth about 115 bucks a piece and these things will sell eventually. We've done a lot of pumps. Actually, I think these might be motors. They say motors. We've done pumps. We've done motors. We've done a little bit of everything. Uh, they're from Cole Morgan. So 115 bucks a piece is $250 in my hands. Keep in mind, we spent $485 on everything. There's a whole nother big giant box to go through. Keep in mind, this is probably going to be a long video, but that's why I'm going to try to get through a little bit rapid fire as, as we kind of go through here. Um, we've got, you know, a little toilet. This goes on the toilet, you know, it usually has a shut off valve. It's just a, just a little, you know, $8 hose or whatever. So nothing too fancy, nothing not too fancy. We've got Fish HS Double Flute Brad Point Drill Bits. So, high end drill bits, 10 bucks. So, we got these things that they are three quarter inch set uh, screw collars, unplated, something. I've got quite a few of them here. They're about 15 bucks a piece. They're nice and heavy. Probably won't make a lot of money on them. Probably ship these with flat rate small boxes. I think that'll fit right in there. So those usually only cost like six or seven bucks to ship. So which isn't bad at all. We've got this little quarter inch buffering wheel from Shop Fox. Just in the retail packaging here. Just a little, a little tiny buffering wheel. Who knows, we might sit on this for years. It could sell tomorrow. You never know. So we've got Carpe Diem hardware. We actually are going to have a lot of hardware in this slot, but when we get towards the end where the stuff's a little less valuable, we're not going to sit here and spend all day going through each and every one of them because most of them aren't worth anything. But not a, not a big deal here at all. I usually like to hold on to it. We'll list it, see if it goes for something special. If it doesn't, great. Whatnot. So we've got some HD St. Lock Z laminated discs. This is just some sandpaper, but expensive sandpaper. It's like 80 bucks for this little box of stuff right here. So if you need some high-end sandpaper, find your store. Uh, let's see here. We've got one of my all-time favorite things. I was going to actually drill some holes into the hardware here and put this little pineapple up. So I don't know if you guys can see that at all, but... There's a little pineapple in here with like all the little sparklies with like Slavarsky or whatever. Um, um, sparkles? I don't know what they're called. Swarovski? Swarovski gems? You know, the glass people. But it's actually really cool. It's a pineapple. Um, it's fancy. It's $30, surprisingly. I thought that was a little expensive. But I'll put the $30 back in my pocket versus anybody else's. So. Now, uh, of course, we've got our LDR combination faucet with soap holder. Now, I actually have three of these, and they are made in China. Whatever, most everything's made in China nowadays. But we'll get about ninety bucks a piece for these guys, or even seventy dollars a piece, and we're we're looking in the in the green there already. It's actually a big reason why I bought this particular lock because it had a lot of the stuff that I was looking for. So now this box is full, so I'm just gonna come out of the frame here for a half a second and re-enter the frame with a new one. That's why I like these boxes, and we were a little bit prepared. Now this one's got a red lining around it, 
Still green made Instacrates. Still has the sticker inside. I love these things. They collapse. They're actually really cool. I have probably, oh, well, probably 30 or so of these guys here. It's because they're kind of always good to have in the grocery shop and whatnot. If you ever go to Costco, they give you all these little boxes of crap and you're at home and you're like, I gotta recycle all of this stuff. Well, the Instacrates available at Costco. So, and Instacrate is not giving me any money to say this. I just think these are the coolest little things in the entire universe. But another thing to go in the, in the trash can right here. So, all right, <laughs> look at that. We've got some paper for that. All right, so we have, for your viewing pleasure, one, two, six, seven signs. Now, I imagine these usually go on barrels or or whatnot, but they, uh, they're actually pretty cool. Um, they're, they're actually expensive. This 25 pack here is usually, you know, 25, 28 bucks. And I have one, I have two, I have three, I have four, I have five, I have six, I have seven of them. So seven times 25 is quite a bit. I can't do basic math. So not a big deal here at all. Now we have quite a few more things left in this box. We've got this fancy screwdriver set from Superior Tool. This again is probably something I will not even sell. It's probably 10 bucks. Probably will cost that to ship it. We will probably give it away on one of our discount day pages or whatnot. I don't think we've ever told you guys about that at all, but we do a lot of this stuff. We give a lot of stuff away on discount day for just the shipping cost. So it's actually a pretty nice screwdriver set, but just one that I don't think we're going to sell. So I have like seven of them already. I don't need an eighth. My wife calls me a pack rat as it is. We've got an auto loading utility knife. Pretty nice knife from Performance Tool. Still same concept here. There'll probably be a giveaway. Maybe not, because it's got blades associated with it. We don't want giveaways going into the wrong hands. Um, let's see here. We have what looks to me like a tie out, but I honestly think this is, this goes to like a wire fence, right? So this is one strand of that wire fence in between two posts. And there's usually like three or four of them. And this just whole thing just pulls right across there. So well, it's another, another one of those cool things, I guess. We've got a belt of some sort. Not a belt goes around your waist. It is a Continental Contatec Torque Flex V Belt BX9. Blah, blah, blah. Just another one of those items that we've got out here. We have quite a few of these. The little pocket door open switches, edge poles that are satin nickel, three inch holes facing, all this good stuff here. These go for about 10 bucks a piece, so yeah, of course we've got them listed, probably sit on them for a while. We've got some 6X, if I remember correctly. Yes, these are 6X. 6X, that's a big guy. <laughs> the vests, we actually have two of them. We did not list these. Let us know down in the comments if you find that you know somebody that would need a 6X vest. So, seriously, let us know. These are like $40 vests. They're, they're expensive, but you know, if somebody, uh, somebody needs them, we'll probably get rid of them for the cost of shipping there. So, um, we've got something. I'm not a clue what it is. And now it's gone. We've got more gloves, Rabex Design gloves, or Rabex.com, Nova X Ladies Light Green Medium Gloves. Actually pretty cool, they actually kind of look like biker gloves, if you ask me, but I have not a clue. I'm curious. Alright, well, I'm not going to take it out of the package, but they're there. They're available. We've got more actually really cool... Uh, Carpe Diem hardware here, so more sparkly hardware or higher end hardware. Just some more nice stuff in particular. We've got more stuff. We've got this little guy here, which is either worth 
$20 or $300. I still haven't figured it out yet, but it goes to, uh, it's just a replaceable tip cartridge. Uh, I, I think it's for uh, like kind of like a CNC machine or something like that. So, but it's, it's a high end one. So, but it's, we're not sure. It's an STTC 037. Depending on where we found it, that's that's generally what we've seen here. There was a noise, so the dogs are gonna bark for for a second. We've got some more conduit lock nuts. I didn't bother. We've got a cleaning brush, stainless steel. Just goes on the end of the drill, so you can clean stuff. And we also have a taper tap bronze oxide and it's some sort of a bit here but i'm not i'm not super familiar uh with it at all if you guys know in the comments they let me know i'm not the smartest bulb on the tree never claimed to be but uh, a lot a lot of cool stuff in this box so here we're going to do a quick intermission as we get rid of the boxes move the other boxes around i got one whole more box to go through and then that'll be the end of the video so we're give me just a couple of minutes we'll be right back all right, and we're back again after our crazy intermission. Got a whole brand new crate here, and they said I have a ton of them. So red, black, green, pretty much every color. So we've got a whole other box here. Now, like I said earlier, I did consolidate everything into two boxes. So what was all here was probably in three boxes. What was all here was probably spread out between four boxes. Now this was two lots. First one going for with shipping 166.60. The other one I think was like 347 something. So all in all, we've got you know about a little under 500 bucks into these two lots here now. Uh, if you're keeping an eye, obviously we'll make our money back on just what's there. But it did take me about, oof, I would say it's six hours to go through each one of the lots to figure out exactly what we were looking for here. But I've got more stuff in these boxes. Let's get right into it here. Let's start with these guys, because these I thought were going to be really cool. They're called Science Purchase. Now, these in particular here, we're going to open it up and devalue it, because why not? Come on. These are just little calipers in particular, if my, my brain is telling me, right? Oh, brand new, higher end calipers, so stainless, hardened steel, whatever. We've got two of them here. They're 15 bucks a piece. I got 30 bucks in my hand here. Can't argue with that. That's a good steak dinner. Uh, if I've ever seen one. Now, these, I did not know what they were until I actually looked them up. This, I believe, is a 3M product from Capital Safety. Now, these are what ties on to like a tool belt or whatnot to make sure that tools don't fall off of your tool belt. So if you're up, up, up really, really high in the sky or whatnot, your hammers and your other screwdrivers or whatnot aren't falling all the way down. Now these just hook on, but each bag of these is $80. I have $160 worth of what feels like plastic here, so, but all good stuff. I'll take it, it's mine. <laughs> We got gloves. I love my gloves. We've got more gloves. These are packs of five. These are the exact same gloves here. So I'm only going to show you the one here. These are just extra large outdoor gloves. Retail $27.99 a piece. We'll probably make 20 bucks on them when they're all said and done. But still, good money. Always good money here. Ah, the coup de grace. The reason I bought this slot here, I was looking to the manifest, and yes, you get to see the manifest, but no, they're almost never accurate. So always be aware of that even though they claim they're 98% accurate or 99% accurate, they're not accurate. They're never accurate. But this right here is. I'm not going to open it up because that'll ruin the value because it's a 300 and some dollar item here. But yeah, it listed for a little under 300. This is just one of those uh, fancy bathroom doorknobs. That's it. That's all it is. It's just a commercial one with a lock and a key, and it's just higher end, and it's from the company here, Schlag, Schlag, Schlug, whatever that is. Hate me in the comments. I love that stuff. But, you know, I think we've got this listed for, you know, just under 300 bucks, probably 270, 280 in there, so, but. Yeah, it's a product that'll sell. It's a product that'll pay for pretty much half of what we bought and more anyway. So it's kind of a win-win a situation. We've got more gloves. 15 bucks in gloves. We've got 10 bucks in gloves. 10 bucks in gloves. 
we've got these A-Lock Sack uh, bags. Now these are like 12 bucks a piece. We've got them listed for 10 because why not? Uh, but these are supposedly supposed to keep all of your stuff nice and dry when you're going out into the water. Maybe you're scuba diving and you feel like you need to take your keys and cash with you along with your credit cards, which are already waterproof, I would think. Uh, maybe your camera and your inhaler. This is my favorite part. There is a person, they're, they're out and they're scuba diving. See this right here? But hey, underwater, you could bring your inhaler with you right there in case you needed it underwater. So, I don't know, I don't know much about it. My wife's a respiratory therapist, I'll probably pay for this one later, but I just thought it was a very interesting concept that you would need your inhaler underwater. I think if you need an inhaler underwater, you're probably dealing with some other stuff. So, money. All right, we've got a 501 divot tool. 13 bucks, it's for Hawaii anyway, so I doubt it'll ever sell. I don't know if Hawaii even had a team. Hate me in the comments. Uh, let's see here. We've got Sea Dog line, chrome brass hatch poles. Now these typically go onto boats, and they're available to basically open up the hatches and that kind of stuff. So if you've ever been fishing, I want from the Midwest, I knew exactly what this was right away. Most people wouldn't and be like, what is that? It goes on a boat, it's just a replacement hatch pole, so I've got quite a few of these here. So if you see me just kind of tossing them out, that's why. I've got a tire bead tool, and we're taking a break. Alright, all important here, our camera's supposedly going to die, so we are going to fast track through the rest of this anyways, which is fine, because now it's really worth all that much. we got a tire bead tool, c 103, this goes for beating tires specifically for motorcycle tires if i remember correctly because i did go ahead and list all of these items uh, let's see here we've got whatever this is it's a replacement park for fluval it's an impeller cover not a clue all right we've got a magic space this is just a little thing it hooks up and you can put like your stuff on there or whatnot this kind of like a 3m one of those magic strip things or whatever. Oh, it is just fancy looking. All right, we've got a Leviton Telecom mounting bracket for quick board snap-in models and instruction sheets. Oh, I was reading the whole thing here. That's what this is. There's just a bunch of ports on there in particular. We've got whatever the opto22.com is. Not a clue. It's worth like 30 bucks though, so it's listed. Oh, we've got a Merit We Know Abrasives. Just some little wheels or sandpaper of some sort. Another 30 bucks. So, we have a strut mount for 142436. That's exactly what it is. It's quantity one. It's only worth like 18 bucks or so. So, not a lot of money, but enough money to bother selling. We've got some high performance components here from. Profane motion control. So, another 19 bucks. Can't argue with money. We've got a task. This is, it goes on to a top bearing flush trim router bit and is a 1 and 1 eighth router bit. I'm actually kind of familiar with these here. It's actually kind of a cool one. So, definitely higher end. That's only worth like 15 or so bucks. We've got an Excel Exacto knife, even though that's not what it's called because it's a different brand. Uh, but it's a K5 heavy duty knife with five assorted blades. Again, another 15 bucks or so. We've got a Kawasaki titanium bit, literally six bucks. We won't make any money on it, but we might get a good review on it. And we can't argue with that here, so. And now, the rest of this video is literally going to be me rapid firing through the rest of it. Because, why the hell not? We've got really destroyed abrasive paper we didn't list. We've got a patio door handle we didn't list. We've got grout scrubbers we did not list. Two of them to be exact. We've got pieces of a solar something. You guys know what this is, hate me in the comments. We've got more door poles. And when I mean we've got door poles, we've got door poles. 
and more door pulls. And Levington is basically cheap brackets. We've got more double coaxial outlets. Oh, we've got the top of that solar panel thingy. Cool. Garbage. We've got more junk. Ooh. If your name is Howard, by chance, or you know a Howard, man, do I got the thing for you. It is a fancy, schmancy pocket knife of sort with your name on it. Literally has your name on it. Hit us up in the comments if you want it. Fish paper shipping, it'll be like four bucks. I know for a fact these go for like 20 bucks. But it's got your name on it, so it's means it's for you. Or unless your name's not Howard and you just want it. I understand. <laughs> we got a box that's empty. We've got a American Metal Craft tube. It's a replacement tube for something. I couldn't figure it out. I don't care that much. Wall plate covers, door poles, door poles, door poles. Man, I got a lot of these gold door poles. So we've got cheap safety glasses, cheap safety glasses. We've got contractor boxes of sorts. We've got fittings. We've got tiny little screw nails. They look like nails, but they're actually screws. Worthless. We've got more worthless stuff. That's just a little mini paint roller, which we'll probably use on our own. We've got window screen clips. We've got more sunglasses. We've got more sun safety glasses. We've got more door poles. This is actually kind of a cool one. It's very modern like so. More adapters, more fittings, more door poles. Inch and a quarter two hole straps. We've got more door pulls. We've got a plastic bag that was probably had these in there. So a lot of these as well. We've got a turtle that I have not a clue what it does, but we were gonna put it in the water to see if it was something cool because it looks like it'd be kind of cool. But for another time. We've got more door pulls. We've got more door pulls, more door pulls. We've got some Dunlop Genuine Cellular Classic Guitar Picks. If you want it, hit us up in the comments. That's why it's going right there. Alright, we've got more door poles. <laughs> so many door poles. More little U-clamps. We've got more of that stuff. More plastic. More and more and more screws and safety glasses and safety glasses and bag of that has safety glasses in there. More safety glasses. All three of these guys are just very, very fancy wall plate covers. They're worthless. Alright. We have a clamp. We have some abrasive power lock discs. Worthless. We've got Kodiak cutting tools, high performance CNC styles, fiber flutes, semi bottom tap, steam oxide treatment high, vanadium M5 times 0.8 size. Worthless. More of this stuff. Oh, Emily. Emily's the director's name, by the way, people. I found something that is 110% my style. There we go. The rest of the video, guys. These things are so cool. And they make everything so weirdly colored, too. So, Alright, we've got more safety boxes. More contractor boxes. More door poles. More door poles. This. <laughs> we got these little hook things that go in, you know. But I only have, like... One or two, I think. I've got two of them. So, but, you know, this kind of stuff. We've got fragile handle of care. Now, these ones we'll probably use. We'll put them on every single thing we ship out. So that way, FedEx, UPS, and USPS can take the boxes and kick them down the street instead of gently carrying them. But that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, I, I did kind of save the end here for basically the junk and the giveaways. Now, Anything you saw me that I put into this box, if you guys really want something, you're like, oh, hold on here, I gotta have that, let us know down in the comments. We'll try to make something work. I'm not gonna hold on to this junk for forever. Eventually, it's gonna get donated. Eventually, we're gonna, typically what we do is we have a big garage sale, and we have these pretty much $1, 50 cent grab piles. 
know, people just kind of fill a bag up for five bucks or whatever. So just to kind of get rid of stuff. People come in here, they'll buy a whole bunch of crap for a couple bucks and we'll still make money on it. It just won't be what we're making on some of the other stuff in some of the other boxes. But I've been Delightful Dave. This has been another fantastically long video of an unboxing of where just so you guys wanted to know here if you wanted to do the math i'll do the math for you we do have about twenty three hundred dollars worth of stuff listed with an estimated cost of goods um you know uh you know ranging in the, in the five hundred dollar mark there so plus the ship is i would imagine we'll make about a grand on everything when it's all said and done so so if you guys want to know a little bit more on the processes here of kind of how we look at stuff or more just unboxing videos, subscribe, take a look. We'll have a lot more stuff coming. In fact, we're actually going to be doing some videos coming up here shortly on other commercials, actually. We're going to be buying some of the as seen on TV stuff and really putting it to the test. Delightful Dave style. But this is Delightful Dave. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell on the side. Bye.